Hey guys, G Dog here, and welcome back to another episode of Alpha Luke. Today we're looking at another game I found on alphabetagamer.com, and it's called Poncho. And it's a it's a 2D um, platformer with sort of like little big planet stroke fez influences, which actually I've had a quick little go just to you know I sort of suck at some platforming games, so I wanted to make sure I. Don't make a complete idiot out of myself. Although saying that I've had a go now means that when I fail, I'm going to look like even more of an idiot. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, let's get into this. I will leave a link to this article, which will link to uh, the Kickstarter page, their official website, and uh, the Game Jolt page, where you can actually play the alpha demo in a Unity supported browser, which is actually what we're going to be doing today. So let's head over to that and get this on the way. So yeah, a little bit of backstory. You're a robot and you're in search of your maker. So yeah, that's sort of where the story's going to be going. Looking for the guy who created me. And uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it's a nice little concept anyway. But yeah, um, I know a few things, uh, like it's randomly generated some of the parts of the world. There's no hand holding at all, like basically it sort of shows you the tools of how to jump and use the, you know, switching between planes mechanic. And it sort of lets you go whichever direction you want, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, do check out the game on Kickstarter if uh, you enjoy what you're about to see. I think it's pretty cool from what I've seen so far. So yeah, let's get this on the way. Right, so this is Poncho, and this is me, I'm a little robot. And yeah, there's all these, like, I call them little frog, frog robots. But yeah, there's a few of these characters creeping about. And as you can see, we've got some keys there, and obviously they're not on my plane at the minute, so I need to jump and then change my plane, and that's going to allow me to pick up that key. And then I'm going to jump back here, and I found... Oh, did I get it? No, I didn't get it. I found this one a little tricky to get, you know, where it being behind a tree. Did manage to get it though. Nope. Yeah, yeah, you got it, got it, got it. Right, so we need to teleport back. Now, uh, you see these little tokens we're collecting, you can use, it's sort of like the currency that is used, and you can actually trade uh, most tokens for keys, which will obviously unlock other areas. So yeah, we're going to head over to this side. Oh uh, no, yeah, this will happen a lot, but thankfully it's not too savage on the checkpoints. Right, so I'm going to get some more of those tokens there. But yeah, I think it looks fucking beautiful. I love the uh, art style they've gone for. Does look a little fez, and uh, you know, the sort of mechanics do lead you to think it might be a bit fezzy. But I actually think I prefer this plane switching uh, mechanic towards rather than fezzy's, you know, uh, changing the world, uh, like spinning it. I, I did like that mechanic, but I feel this makes more sense anyway to me. Might not for you, but yeah. That's how I see it anyway. So we need to get on that uh, far back plane. Right, it looks like, anyway, so as far as I've played, it looks like there's only ever going to be three planes at play. Ah, right, this is the little robot dude. Uh, right, so I'm going to press enter and he's going to like, I don't know, it's a proper scary hug or something. But yeah, as you can see here, we can buy a green key for five tokens so yeah we're gonna do that i think and as you can see that's gonna open up more options for us so we can either go for green keys yellow keys or red keys uh, when we get a few more tokens so yeah we're going to back out of that and we need to get token hunting i think right so as you can see these two doors look like they require keys so we obviously don't have any red keys at the moment so it looks like we can't get through there at 
the moment, so... Oh no. Also another thing, it doesn't look like you can jump and then switch between multiple planes while in the air, like you can only switch from the plane closest to you, um, if you get what I mean, so like, uh, yeah. Oh god. Oh god. It's <laughs> uh, lucky I had some practice, right? <laughs> uh, you were not saying no, mate, but I do like you, little flat cap. Oh, yeah, maybe like look ahead of you, Jeff. Yeah, so it look I thought we'd better go over to that plane, but it doesn't look possible from where we are. So I think we are going to have to go back and head the other direction. See if we can find some more of those tokens. I'm running ahead like a lunatic again. <laughs> oh god that happened. Right. There we are. Right, so I'm going to head in this general direction. Hey, you got another token thing. Oh, right. I think that's going to mean there's four planes, actually, because I think this is a new plane. I'm not actually... Yeah. Three or four planes. <laughs> right, so we're in uh, the next little section. And as you can see, we can, can't get up there, so we're going to have to, right, we can't get up here either. You're not saying out, are you, mate? So, guessing we're going to have to go on this very far back realm, realm, plane, sorry. Uh, yeah, can we, right. Ah, right, okay, here we are, here we are. Uh, Right, I need to get up here, though. Not quite tall enough, am I? Right, so now might be an indication. Uh, let's have a look. Well, well, what about if I come back here? Nope. Oh, hello, I bet we can get up there, can't we? Yes, we can. Alright, so we're gonna grab this token also. Uh, right, this is gonna be interesting. And then, oh no, it was in, I thought you were on it, on the same, a different plane to me, but no, it, I was in the correct area for a change. Right, so it looks like there's a little sneaky one. Yeah, so if we can... No, we can't change plane there. Uh... Ah, there we are. Yep, got it. Oh, we're actually up to 16 tokens now, so we can go back and buy a key, I think. Uh, but it did look like we needed two red keys to progress further anyway, so I might stick with this direction for a while. Well, that were a huge jump. Right. Alright, let's change plane and see what's to our right. What the hell? What the hell? Oh great, they're gonna they're gonna throw in timing just for me, aren't they? Yeah, this is where it's gonna get messy. Oh, I didn't even need to go back through there. Right, so I think. Oh, I think we need to think about this, don't we, Jeffrey? Right, so no, <laughs> didn't need to do that. Oh no. Uh, no. Alright, so can we just jump past it? Let's... No. Alright, there's another token anyway. Uh, 
Wow. Okay. So it looks like... Oh no. They do move. Wasn't sure if the little... Alright, oh, we need to get on this tomb blocker. No, no. Be on it. I'm you. <laughs> right, let's go over here. Oh my life, yeah, this is gonna get complex. Alright, wait for this to tour. Here we are, yeah. No! Oh wow, yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Uh, yeah, maybe that's a good idea actually. Um Let's see, let's see what happens this time. Oh, I got it! Ah, oh, they jumped too early, jumped too early. Ah, and again. Right, okay. Oh! Oh, this is cool though, this is really cool, I like it. It's just a, uh, yeah, a little challenging at first. Uh, right, so... I think we want to go to... And then to the four, and then to the five. Yeah, and then I don't know where. All right, so then to my, uh. See, I could just change planes, I guess. No. No. Right. And then. Oh, yeah, that'll do, that will do. Oh, no! <laughs> Please let me stay up there. No. Yeah, so much death. So much death. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, this game's gonna make me look like a complete twat. I can see it. Or it's already. I don't know why. Right now, come oh, now. No, no, no. Need to wait for that five. Yeah, can't just go all the way. Can't go all the way. <sighs> right, as I'm terrible at this, I think. <laughs> I think we're gonna come back and uh, see and get a key. Oh my life. I changed route. Oh, I did, I did. I pressed my button. I pressed it too many times there. Right, we're back here. Let's go back and get, get a key and see what happens. See what happens. Oh crikey, we're gonna get through this again. Uh, Right. No. <laughs> Slow and steady wins more race, Jeff. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Right, so are you gonna sell me a key, mate? That's really freaky, that shopkeeper thing. <laughs> I think we want a red one, don't we? So, yeah, let's go with that. And then, yeah, it's going to be another 15 pieces for that. That's cool, that's cool. wonder what green keys are going to open me then. And gold keys, I've not actually seen any doors that require those keys yet. Oh yeah, let's see if we can get this open. Yeah, that's opened. Ah, right, so there's a red key, then a blue key. So we have got a blue key, but yeah, we unfortunately cannot get through there at this moment. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave that video there for now. But yeah, I'm probably going to email the devs and see if I can get hold of a, you know, a, a non-browser-based demo. And maybe try to do a bit more proper coverage on this. 
But yeah, I will leave links to alphabetagamer.com, this game's official site, and this game's Kickstarter. I think it's definitely worth maybe even backing this, because it does look pretty damn awesome so far. And I've just noticed there's a green key door up here. Oh yeah, which I obviously came through. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later. Bye!